Welcome back to Simple Deals, Hauls, and Coupons. Today I have the Dollar General Penny List with Markdown List uh, for April 9th. And we do have a sweet penny deal this week. Okay, I want to thank the freebieguy.com for posting the penny list and the markdown list. Um, he has a great website that offers all kinds of freebies and deals, and he adds new freebies and deals every day. He does uh, seem to have, he, he finds deals all the time, so there's so much over there. I mean, you can just scroll and scroll and scroll, and it's just a great website. Okay, the penny list for April 9th is the Reese's Milk Chocolate Peanut Butter Football Candy Bar. And there's the UPC code underneath that description. And I go on BrickSeek.com and then I, uh, I go ahead and punch in the UPC code. I punch in my zip code and then it will show you the quantities in the stores in your area of the item for the UPC code you punched in. And so when something pennies, I use that to find the quantities. I use BrickSeek to find the quantities in the local stores. Now sometimes it's you know not exactly correct, and I know a lot of people say, well, you can't really rely on that, but I use it quite often, and I have it's allowed me to find where the, where the majority of the quantities are so that I can hit those stores first. So I do use it. Okay, part of the markdown list for April 9th. Easter candy stays at 25% and the Easter party and seasonal at 50%. Hopefully next week we'll see these, these uh, percentages off go up further. But for this week, they are staying as they were last week. The Mission brand accessories for April 9th. Those are gonna be 70% off. I believe that's the same as it was last week. Um, and that's going to include the men's boys hat, and that's black, the men's boys hat navy, and the men's boys sun sleeves black. And I put the UPC codes there, and you can use Brick Seek, like I said, for the candy. You can use that for any um, UPC codes that you have, and you can they have many different stores you can search. So, um, but I did want to leave those UPC codes up. Okay, updated markdown list for April 9th. Blue Dot apparel and accessories, those are going to be 70% off. Calendars are 70% off. And camping is 90% off. So if you were looking for anything in those areas, um, you might want to check your stores. Of course, these, uh, these are going to continue to go up until they penny out. But right now they're on the upswing, so that's a good that's a good thing. Okay, the updated markdown list for April 9th also includes gray dot apparel and accessories, 70% off. The red triangle socks, 70% uh, off, and that should say FW23 on the tag, and that stands for Fall Winter 2023. And then we have the white dot at 70% off, and that is the BB brand. Um, I don't think that I've seen any of that in my store. Uh, we don't have a lot of clothing in the stores around me, but um, that's interesting that they do have um, white dot at 70% off. And again, these all these um, areas on this particular slide also, these are on the uptick for you know, next week they should be 90% off. So we're those are going to be some really great savings. 70% well, off is still a great saving. Okay, and I wanted to include the items that were just on the markdown list. These are still on the markdown list at these percentages off. Uh, this, this, they have been on there for quite a while. But um, we've got the Beehive Home, 25% off. And again, I'm not sure what that is. I think it's the... Uh, cups and, and plates that had that beehive motif on them and then the blueprints 25% uh, off and the decal mania hardware and holiday novelty 25% off okay and again here are some more of the markdown lists that these have been on there for quite a while um, but I wanted to make sure that you knew these percentages were still going on now the fall and winter hardware 
I believe those are going to be the hats and the gloves. 50% uh, off. That may also include like the scrapers and things like that. It seems like from years past that's what it is included. Safari Home is 25% off. Select Electronics is 25% off. And again, I'm not sure exactly what that includes, but you know, check your stores because they may have some good deals. And again, these I, these percentages off are just going to continue to climb. And Shades of Gray, 25% off. Okay, and these are just a few reminders. Uh, penny shopping is supposed to be a secret. So that just, you know, means when you go into the store, just go in and take a look around. Don't stop and, you know, uh, try to get information. Which leads us to this slide. Uh, you never ask Dollar General employees about pennies. I made this mistake when I first started. You know, because I didn't know, I didn't understand how it all worked. So, you know, the reason why we have the pennies, of course, is because Dollar General employees get the list and then they're supposed to pull all the things that are on that list. They're supposed to pull off the, off the shelves and it's not supposed to be on the floor so that, you know, those don't exist. But if they do, if they don't get them off the floor and Tuesday comes around, then if you scan those items that are on the list for that week, then it should ring up a penny. And so, you know, but just don't ask them about it. You just go in and just take a look around. Okay, and then your miles may vary. The YMMV, and when I first started, I didn't know what they were talking about. That just means your miles may vary and items in one area might be a penny. And in another area, they might be full price. And I've had that happen to me too. Uh, so, you know, you just need to make sure that if you find an item that you that is on the penny list, scan it because it might be a penny, but it might not be a penny. And if you scan it, then you're more like clear when you go up to the checkout, you'll be more confident. Okay, if you are refused a penny item, you can show the Dollar General penny policy because they are supposed to sell it if it's on the floor and it rings up a penny. They're supposed to sell it to you. But, you know, the way I look at it is I don't want to have the confrontation with anyone. So if, if, and I may have been refused a penny before, a penny item before, I can't really remember. But if that happens to me, I would just say, you know, okay, that's fine. And then I just would not make a big deal about it. But, you know, if you wanted to show them the penny policy and say, hey, it's right here in your store policy, you have to sell that to me. You're supposed to sell that to me then you most certainly can and it's, it's on the next slide. Okay and here is the Dollar, Jenny, the Dollar General penny policy and it states penny, penny sales should not occur in a store at any time. If an item rings up for a penny the item should be sold to the customer for a penny. So that's right in their policy so if you want to just take a picture of that with your phone you could have that on your phone ready to go if you needed it. Okay, that's all I had for my Dollar General penny list with the markdown list for April 9th. So we've got some pretty good deals coming up for this next Tuesday. I hope everyone's able to go out and find some good deals. Um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video.